Hey everybody, we're back with more Resident Evil 4. Let's get into Resident Evil 4 so we can play Resident Evil 4. Uh, we left off last time we had killed Verdugo. So we are now in the mines. So let's do that. Yay. Alright, let's go. Uh, how am I doing for everything? Not that bad, actually. Um... Upgrade Magnum capacity. Welcome. Got some rare thing. What are you buying? Is that all? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? Is that of all of that. <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Thank I'll you. Put the crown jewel in the crown, but we we'll hold on to that. What are you buying? All good. What are you buying? Come. All right. Back any time. All right, that doesn't need to be rearranged. That's pretty much fine. Put this here. I don't want that to be combined. Do you have anything for me? Barrels! Goodies! Alright, let's go. Villagers return! So you take out two villages with one bullet each. Alright, let's just keep going. I do have the rocket launcher, so I could skip this next sequence, but I'm not gonna. I think you can skip this next sequence where you're supposed to put dynamite on the rock. Uh, you can skip it if you just blow it up with a rocket launcher. That was close. guys to stop throwing stuff at me. Okay. I'll play it like that. Okay, they're not gonna throw it at me. Oh, two people stop, jeez. So many guys throw stuff at me at once. Hello, how you doing, matter? You missed like 20 guys all throwing stuff at me at the same time. It was crazy. I've never seen that before. Eat it. And the dudes with the dynamite showed up, and they didn't throw the dynamite, so that just made things worse. Thanks, professional. No, they tried to rail me. Uh, I managed to fight them off and maintain my dignity. Yeah. 
they do, Meadow. I think that went well. Here we go. You yeah, okay? That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, let me introduce him to my boomstick. Probably going to be okay over there. I got this new grenade here. Inside of them throwing shit at me. Alright, am I gonna regret not putting that guy down immediately? No, you just have to be mindful of where he is. Good. A thousand. And... Place the dynamite. You can shoot the dynamite to make it explode immediately. Uh, I am not going to do that. It didn't even take that long. Nice to see you. Alright. So now we have the double Elegante fight. They really should let you get both of them with that, but I guess it'd be way too easy because that, they both walk on the thing, like, really often. Make sure you don't get too close to the lava or it'll drag you in. encounter because you can very easily get the space that you need to shoot them. Shoot the elegance. I'm here, wait for them to start shaking it and then just take the zipline. I've heard there's a glitch on one of the versions, supposedly like the original GameCube release, where you can drop one in the lava and then once you're done with this fight you can... Exit the room, come back in, and the treasure that that one would drop is, is actually here. I've heard that glitch exists, I've not seen it done myself. But the money isn't worth the extra trouble that the second one will cause. 
We'll have enough money by the end anyway. I tried it when I was playing the GameCube version uh, for Let's Play last year. It didn't work. But I was playing the European GameCube version. I might have fixed it by then. It might just be like the original American release. I think RE4 might have come out in America before Japan. Like, uh, the original US release of Metroid Prime has glitches that are in no other version. Yeah, this is really just kind of a dull fight. I wonder how much faster the semi-auto rifle actually is over the standard rifle bolt action. It doesn't feel like it's that fast. It would have been faster if I'd used the Red 9. I don't have a huge amount of ammo for it. So I'm okay with using something a little more situational. Yeah, 15,000 for killing one of them. Uh, missing out on 15,000 for killing the other one, not a huge deal. You can make that back. Hey, Teak. Yeah, Ninja did his one session run yesterday, which was crazy. Yep, it's not here. Like, that guy is crazy. What was it, like 11 hours it ended up being? I mean, if I was going to do a 12 hour stream, this wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, the flying the vista does. This is one of the worst areas in the game, and not looking forward to it on professional. Especially the way they'll sneak past you like that. Okay, that was bullshit. Can hit me in the middle of a cutscene. Right over there, I'll have to take that on the way out. That was less effective than I'd hoped. That's Resident Evil 4's adaptive difficulty at work. It, the, the adaptive difficulty of RE4 does actually work off a game hit. 
Not just deaths. kick if you're aiming, or if you're in the middle of a reload animation. For fuck's sake. A successor. Two blues. Fuck off. Yep, there it is. Two blues. They're not going to appear on this next step. Next try. Guarantee it. I don't fucking see it. Yeah, I got two blue eyes that are now gone. So, you know, that's, that's great. They're not going to appear on this next try. I can guarantee it. Is it lucky, or is it unlucky to have you immediately die after getting them? The fact that the kick prompt pops up uh, while you're pumping the shotgun and you just can't do it is fucking irritating. But yeah, no, I pressed the prompts in time game, you just didn't let me do it. Yeah, we saw this. There wasn't a prompt there. Well, that's another death. Yeah, no, these are awful. I've never seen them in this, like, these numbers before. There are so many of them. We can do this. Oh, I'm sorry, was I not pressing the square button hard enough? Bullshit me on the prompt game. Okay, you know what? That's that's a bit much. I had no there was absolutely no room in my inventory. I just picked up a herb that I had to double combine. Alright. 
You run faster when you're holding a grenade. This is, this is a bit much. in the chat. The numbers they're throwing at me are just outright ridiculous. There's no way you can deal with them in the caves, they keep coming at you from so many angles. And then because you can't deal with them and you decide to run, you end up surrounded and there's nothing you can do. It is unbelievable. I've never seen it this bad. Push the fucking button. Yeah, you're telling me. There's not even enough there for that. Yep, absolutely fucking worthless. Hey, Amanda.
Cockroaches want to get rough. Okay, I'm reloading. Two blue eyes again. Star. Clem. Jansen. As everybody doing. You came in at the worst time. For anybody who doesn't know, they can't actually go through here. Which is why you shoot them here. There, let me put that blue eye on there. There we go. Good money. Thanks for the look, Titanium. Let's see what we're missing. Yeah, we got two blue eyes back. I had to turn around and kill them to get them, but we got them. Honestly, if we can get through here without dying so I don't have to do the bugs again, I'll be I'll be good, Chansom. I will be good. We spent so many healing items on that. It is unbelievable. I have one green herb. That seems fine on my end at the minute. Wasn't at the start of the stream, but it seems to be now. I have one. I have one green herb. Went in there with two first aid sprays, a green herb, and a double green, and found a bunch of greens, another first aid spray, a red. God damn! It was unbelievable. Well, back, Jensen. The Verdugo fight? Not a problem. That took me five tries. God damn it. Yeah, I'll get two first aid sprays off the uh, merchant. Remember the policy. If the merchant will sell you first aid sprays, you get those first aid sprays. Oh god, no, never killed a merchant. I need to upgrade my guns to be absurdly powerful. 
great. We have this merchant, um, then one more merchant, and then the merchant after that will allow us to have the exclusive upgrade to the Red Nine, which will make it stupidly powerful. Got some rare things on oh, sale. Is it? Thank you, Chen. Thank you, Clem. I thought I'd sorted this. Looks fine on my end. We reset it anyway. There we go. Oh, autofocus is back on. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that's blurry. There we go. No, oh, don't worry. Clem, Clem's staying dead. Selling? Got the exorcism right, self and everything. Is that all? <laughs> 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 and the completed <laughs> Salazar family crown sells for more than anything else in the game. <laughs> what are you buying? Is that Take that, thank you. <laughs> and that, that. <laughs> thank you. And that, and that. <laughs> thank you. What are you buying? Is that a and grab two of these? <laughs> I can only Thank grab one, god damn it. Come back Give me another one. Anytime. What are you buying? Is <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of a joke a friend. A friend once told me that I didn't understand at the time until I played Dark Souls 2 and realized he was quoting the maiden in Manjula, uh, how she sounds when you skip all of her dialogue when you're trying to level up. It was kind of funny once I got the joke. Alright, I can deal with people. Rude. Making it go to the Maiden to level up in Dark Souls 2 was such a dumb idea. Because it added two loading screens to whenever you wanted to level up. It was just pointless. I don't have a standard grenade. This isn't going to hit everybody. Appreciate if you didn't throw axes, my dude. They couldn't all be dead. Was it necessary to knife them all to death? No. But I wanted to do it anyway. Okay, where the fuck did they come from? This is the problem with having an incendiary grenade instead of a regular grenade. God damn it. 
they didn't kill everybody. Didn't kill all the people I even aimed at. Ugh. All right. Onwards with the uh, the pro run. Mecha Crow knows how to play RE4 super well. And totally not embarrass yourself on the internet. 100%. Ooh, we push the button. <laughs> All right, so more fun times in the underground. Thankfully, we're not going to see the Navisadors ever again. Once we're done here, I'm probably good to not play RE4 for another year. Saw you in there. Good point. I think that's everybody. Grab some stuff. Hang out. Hang out. Go for the bear traps. The hitboxes are wider than you think they are. You. Okay. Guy over there. Grab this. Thank you. I'm impressed. Is that other money going to have disappeared or can I make it? It's a public area, you're making a noise disturbance. Uh. Yep. Is there a box back there I didn't open? There you go. Alright, give me a big um, Majesty stick. There, let me break this box that I apparently missed. Nothing in it. Wonderful. Wunderbar. So Chainsaw Dude can't actually jump over that, so your smartest thing to do is just snipe him. Yeah, it's way... it's slower than going up there and just shooting him. But considering he's right next to the ladder, going up there like this is a dangerous idea anyway. It can be done, knock him down, climb up quick. But it's risky. Taking a lot of damage though. Kinda of weird.
Yeah, the timeline's really awkward. Yeah, there's a second dude downstairs I'm gonna go and kill for the money. And then more villagers turn up and it's just a, it's just a shit show. Sorry, why didn't I hear you there? Before anybody says, before anybody says that was really lucky, uh, the shotgun blast did go off in time. Knocking uh, Dr. Salvador backwards. We just got hit with the um, by the woman immediately after. It was pretty close. That's the second instance of ridiculous timing we've had in this playthrough. Like, hmm. Alright, let's do this. That's too bright. Alright, and then we have staircase. Oh no, it's this, then the spare staircase. I thought this came after the staircase. Alright, so unlike the previous spike trap ceiling, uh, you can't shoot this one from the outside. Throw that down to immediately kill the spider plagas. So they're not gonna be a problem. You don't have to worry about shooting them. There's the spiral staircase. Check the box. Some money. Get your cash money. None of them even drops anything. This, this is just rude. Take the spinel as compensation. Alright, now we have everybody's favourite sequence, the minecart. the minecart moves, they're not likely to hit you with any of their thrown weapons. Not likely, still might. You gotta love how there's always one that jumps down way too early.
Okay, head back. Nobody's favorite. Everybody's favorite. Everybody's best time. Well, you know, I'm glad that worked the second time. Grab that shotgun ammo then. Is this when the luck finally runs out? Yes it is, the grenade is not gonna go off in time. done that. that w if that woman hadn't grabbed me, uh, she grabbed me just as I was uh, going to pick up the shotgun ammo. And the shotgun ammo could have been used to push Salvador back again. There, let's do this. handgun ammo do I have? What a huge amount. So we've got all the shotgun ready for this. Eighteen shots. Yeah, that.
You know, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about the second chainsaw dude. Who I am not gonna kill in time to get the money for. Unless. Me boys, Sunday stroll. Stop giving me rifle ammo, for fuck's sake. All right, we're all good here. I'm there with six shotgun shells, and it just keeps giving me rifle ammo. Hey, it's Ali. How you doing, Ali? Oh god, we did Donkey Kong Country once. Awful. It's not that I don't want the rifle ammo, it's that I could really do with more shotgun ammo. I, I have rifle ammo, I could do with more shotgun ammo. I am angry. I am quite angry today. Uh, because we started off, uh, ran into the Navistador Caverns, and that took us five tries to do, because they were bullshit. Oh, that reminds me, let me, uh, switch this up. I should probably say that I'm playing unprofessional. Pretty sure that is how you spell professional. Do this. Yeah. Offer the sacrifice to the lion. Sound familiar, Teague? Don't make cry reference. Oh, yeah. Now watch me die to this large group of zealots. Because uh, apparently I can't play this game. I just stick to my turn based RPGs. My brain just can't comprehend these fandangled shoot 'em ups. I just can't do it. Frog and roll. A uh, new trailer for Nocturne HD came out today. Basically explaining the um, the three major reasons, uh, the factions, the reasons of them. And pretty much spoiling the fact that you are going to end up going up against at least one of your friends. Um, because they're going to be in separate factions. Which, you know, is always nice for a trailer to do. Yeah. I should probably shoot that again. Looks like we got ourselves a party. Oh!
it slices, it dices, it takes care of all the zealots you need it to. He climbed up a lot faster than I expected him to. And we got an issue of... We gotta go through the tower now, and I don't have a lot of healers. Hell, we're not even through to this yet. Okay, somebody's getting it in the face. Yeah, it's interesting, um, awesome, I do not to anybody. It's interesting how when you really pay attention to sounds in video games, just how many of them are stock, stock sound effects. Okay, the game's glitching up. Mm. That's interesting, because you think those would be... A, a unique noise, and B, since Link's the Past was a Super Nintendo game, you'd think the rupee noise would be at a way lower sound quality. Sound quality, there's a, there's a word I'm looking for, I can't tell you about this. Yep, that was bullshit. Yeah, GBA was a very different sound font. These are the lowest sound capabilities of the GBA. I, I've, I've played uh, Links of the Past enough that I can... Here, without comparison, the um, the differences in the GBA version. Okay, something's going on with this. Give me a red dude down there as well. You guys coming up? Get your ass back. There's an interesting thing with the uh, GBA games. Well, fuck that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, an interesting thing with GBA games is a, there's a lot of GBA games that have um, packs you can find. I hate the maces and the, I hate the flails and the range they have. Uh, that increase the actual sound quality of GBA games. 
Mostly it's the Porsche. Of course, the main thing is you don't want to be playing those hacks on an actual GBA. If you play them through an emulator, then you get the GBA quality of like, whatever it is. Like in Final Fantasy, you get GBA quality translations and stuff. Uh, or Super Nintendo quality music, which is really nice. Alright, how many times am I going to die climbing up this tower? Right that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry, we've prepared a special ritual for you. You know, if you've got the time to throw your knife at him, why not just shoot him? <laughs> There's... I'm pretty sure there's an herb down here somewhere. Oh, that's not overly helpful at the minute. Isn't there a call elevator button I could press? Oh yeah, the Paul's back, um, to decide what the... Uh, <coughs> looks like Donkey Kong finally got me. Uh, the Paul's back to decide what the marathon we'll be doing in May will be, whether it'll be anime games or Star Wars games. Uh, anime or Star Wars both. I think anime is currently winning. Yep, Donkey Kong got me at last. That's weird, the chat didn't pop up with Chansom's message. Ooh. Oh, it was an exclamation mark. I thought it was uh, just a capsulized eye. That's fair enough. Good to know the chat, the, uh, the chat isn't busted. Get down there. Or don't. Fine. Yeah, I have it set to uh, not show those. Uh, show the commands. Uh, no, the death counter is for Nocturne. 
I considered using the death counter for this game, but it counts it counts your deaths anyway. Uh, so I thought there wouldn't really be much point. Is that guy killing his own dudes by throwing the dynamite like that? No, here they come. Okay, no he is. Killing his own dudes. Yay! Somebody's a dick. Somebody drop a healing item, please. Okay, it's just the one dude. Two bucks. Yeah, um, like. I was doing it for Code Vein, but then we finished Code Vein and we didn't die in the first session of Nocturne. Uh, so I decided, like, we're done with Code Vein, uh, we'll use it for Nocturne. I did consider it for this, but it can it has its own death counter. So I decided it would be kind of pointless, kind, kind of redundant. Is there another dude who throws dynamite? No, I think the main issue we're going to have here is I think one of these will have a dude with a crossbow. That'll be a problem. There he is. There a minute ago. Seven shots. Most of our one night together. It's so over, you know, we'll both be so alone. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't realize you were still alive. Okay, you know, might be a bit too many here. Don't know when I got that herb, uh, okay. think any more are going to drop down. That was a little bit... Mm. Let's go. healing items. This really makes me concerned about how the island is going to go. And we're finally at the next merchant. Right, first aid spray there. I'm not going to pick it up. Welcome. Got some rare. What are you buying? <laughs> Come. Okay, so what we do, do this. Okay. And then buy two more, then pick up the third. I'll maximize the uh, healing capacity we can get. Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? Is that? Is that? What are you buying? Is that all? All right, and now we just have to get to the next merchant, and we can get the exclusive, the Red Nine. Which increases its firepower. Uh, what are we currently on? 3.7. It increases its power to 6.5. Which is substantial. Now we just gotta get past this fucker. I think it's time I paid my due respects towards your impressive and stubborn will. Mr. Kennedy.
Don't worry, Cliff. You're right, I do got this. Monsters. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. Alright, let me go get that money before it disappears. They surprise you to know, but he's actually 20 years old. I don't know why that came out like the old master from fucking Kong Pao. Don't spoil it. <clears throat> That's a good quote to pop up now. remember what enemy that's specifically talking about. But yeah, if you can deal with having the um the rocket launcher taking up all that space for that long. Uh I find it is definitely worth it to save it for Salazar. I could use it on Verdugo like a lot of people do. Um I know a lot of people We'll also choose to use it on the Garadors, the double Garadors. I don't want to deal with this fight, honestly, and I consider it a good a good way of disrespecting Salazar to just be like, nah, fuck you, boom. What's that? You have a fight with mechanics? No, you don't. Honestly, I think after this, there isn't another good spot for it. If you're not going to use it here, you should use it on one of the other two places. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. Alright, so... Yeah, no, there, there isn't. If you're not going to use it there, then you should just sell it. You're going to keep it past that? There's no point. There's no single encounter after this that's that bad. Uh, U3 isn't that bad, and using it on the first section of that fight is pointless. Um, Krauser isn't really that bad. I know Salazar, Final Sadler isn't really that bad. Got some rare things. Right. Red Knight, exclusive. 
Is that all? Okay? Six point five. <laughs> Thank you. Right, good. We finish upgrading it here, and this will unlock the exclusive, <laughs> which one hundred twenty thousand. I don't think I want to get yet. Hold off what on that. What are you selling? Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Yeah, 80,000 for the Red Nines exclusive, and it's almost doubled in power. That kind of firepower... Ooh, the water's going crazy there. That kind of firepower is insane ride, for a handgun. <sighs> okay. And we're going to get some use out of it. This outfit really is better for Ada. Got some business to take care of. See you later. Let me see this. I hate to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you get I don't mention last time, home. but um perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence just because you killed my I'm not actually used to this outfit because you're small. Most of my playthroughs of RE2, RE4 have been on PS2. That's where I first had it, that's where I played the most of it. Um, and since Ada only appears in cutscenes in Leon's campaign, scenes in the PS2 version are all pre-rendered. So you never see Ada in that costume. Sadly on that VD outfit. So I'm not used to seeing her in that outfit. I have seen her in the outfit before. She wears it in assignment Ada. She actually has a third outfit that, for some reason, you never get to use outside of mercenaries. Which kind of irritates me. So, uh, if you ever played uh, the Dark Side Chronicles, the outfit she has in that is just taken... Because I thought that outfit... Can I turn this back down? Is that fine? Seems fine. I thought... Uh, the outfit she had in Darkside Chronicles, uh, the updated version of her RE2 look, was made for Darkside Chronicles as an updated version of her RE2 look. No, it's from Mercenaries in this. Literally the same character model. But you can never use it in this outside of Mercenaries, and it really irritates me, because it's a good outfit. So I think most people here have played RE4. Um, what was your first system you played RE4 on? Everybody. It's weird that she's only just there. 
that's fair enough. Design-wise, I do really like the uh, the redesigned RE2 outfit. For this game, the spy outfit just works better. Ah, the Gamma Cube. I didn't have it on GameCube until way later. It's actually a fun fact. The LP I did for this, uh, two years ago now, I think, uh, was my first time playing it on GameCube. And then someone comes to spoil the fun. That's the funny thing. Uh, I did have remake on GameCube. But I never actually managed to get RE4 on GameCube at the time. I didn't get it until way later. Until after I had the PS2 version. It's not even a case if I preferred the PS2. I had the game, but I didn't get the PS2 until like 2008. $10 is a good price. I didn't realize my health was that low. At all six. Uh, so, what would that be? Um, GameCube, PS2. We original PC. GameCube, PS2, We original PC. And then I guess PS3 and 360. Unless you're going to count like the mobile version. Oh, all six RE. Yeah, that's reasonable. I think he's been uh, RE4. Uh, so, Remake 0, 2, 3, Code Veronica 4. Remake 0, 2, 3, Code Veronica 4. Yeah, six. Oh, was that six? Was that more? Nice of him not to sprout this turn. That's right, called Veronica. The hated one. I mean, not the most hated one. I think RE0 is worse. Just as a game, RE0 is less enjoyable to play. Really? You didn't? That's interesting. Uh, I think Call of Veronica is generally the most expensive to pick up on GameCube now. Yeah, people are always- Motherfucker! He's in green health. People regularly, like, say I should play Code Veronica. You know what, fuck it. Yeah, sound the alarm. People regularly say I should do Code Veronica. And I, I just don't want to. I don't enjoy it. I mean, I've stated my complaints about Code Veronica before, and even the fans can't really disagree with it. Disagree with those complaints. Fucking god. 
What's the point of colour coding the health if I can die instantly in green? Just shit like that. But no, zero. Zero has major issues. Uh, the inventory is a massive problem in that, and it's just so boring. That's your problem, like, especially on a first playthrough. No, RE0 is one of the worst on your first playthrough. Anything after that is always negotiable. Like, they've all got bullshit you can't really properly prepare for. Like, the valve handle, knowing you need to take the valve handle into the sewers with you in RE2. You can't know that in advance. Zero does it so often with so much. Especially the hookshot. The smallest inventory system in the, in the series. And so many items that take up two slots. It's like the whole not using boxes is an issue. It would be less of an issue if both characters had eight item slots and none of the items took up two spaces. Yeah, I, I don't forget the valve handle. I usually forget the lighter with flash. Where I usually go wrong. Magic, how you doing, buddy? So you've not been on recently, uh, are you still having internet issues? Gotta love Sky, number one for customer service, apparently. Caught it in the sky. <laughs> I don't know how to get sorted out for your magic. I'll be so happy when I can get out of this area. Huh. <sighs> 
<laughs> but you didn't finish your Monster Hunter Rise streams. How can we live without your 170 part series on Monster Hunter Rise? I wonder if it will actually go that long. I didn't realize that guy died. Anyway. If I can get through this room without dying, I'll be happy because I know it took Ninja at least uh, two goes for it. So if I can get through it and in one, I'll be happy. Yeah. That's that's not that's not news. Are you surprised though, or is your friend surprised at that? <coughs> yeah, let me see. What in the crap? Hey, gotta keep the spirit alive as long as you can. I mean, the point really uh, is more that you're enjoying it, rather than anything else. I'm sure we've uh, asked the question before on the stream, like, who's going to voice Dante? Like, my hope that it'd be Drew, Co uh, Drew Coombs, but chances are it'd be Ruben Langdon. Yeah, I'm sure we've mentioned that. And the links. It's like, it's a uh, DMC2 style dance. But Dante's personality in Nocturne is the MC1. So like, there's the little hope I have that he'll get Drew Coombs, but I don't expect them to. Probably gonna be Ruby Linden. I can't see shit. I have a rifle for a reason. Okay, you know what? You're pissing me off.
That guy was polite enough to go down in one shot. Why weren't the others? Welcome to the Mecha Chrono Gets Pissed stream. Would this be more bearable if I was drinking while I'm doing this? That'd be worse. I've done a couple of streams where I've had a drink, uh, but it's really just been like a bottle of cider, or fruit cider. So nothing will actually get me drunk. I've not actually uh, been drunk in over a year. I say drunk, I don't really get drunk, I get tipsy and I just get bored and stop drinking. And that's the only one I'm out, I don't really drink at home. Drinking stream. You wanna donate the Clintiagos? All of this. <laughs> Thank you. Both of these. What are you buying? What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> what are you buying? Just have a drunken coach to Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Should have thought that. It's not worth it to just upgrade the right gun there. I need to drink a lot. Drink a lot. Don't yeah, I'd be down for that too. Come back anytime. Shouldn't have upgraded the shotgun for that. Extra two points to the power for. Hundred and twenty thousand, not worth it. Yeah, I've never really drunk a huge amount. Usually it's social drinking and I just get bored. Yeah, to the point where I'm pretty tipsy and I just don't feel like going back up to the bar and queuing up for another drink. Especially with the cost. Hello. I'm okay, two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Hmm. Meat. Other man.
I have no more handgun ammo. What's he doing in here? Oh yeah, I got through that one screen that nin that killed Ninja at least once uh, without dying, which is good because Ninja was also on normal mode. So you know, I'd take that as a victory. To be fair, Ninja had been playing for like eight hours by this point. Oh no, it's Ashley. Hello. I hate it when the big guys don't drop anything. Oh, hello. Bitch. Red eye. Don't oh, mind me, I'm just stealing your stuff. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, that's a show I've not thought about in like a week. Yeah, I'm not hugely interested, honestly. Like, ah, uh, shit. Like, I'll, I'll admit RE7 isn't a bad game. It's not my kind of game. so to have more of that isn't really uh, something I'm super interested in. Plus, I wish Capcom would stop with the time demo bullshit. I'll pick it up eventually and play it. The question will be when and for how much I'll, I'll end up spending on it. Oh, yeah. If Capcom would put out a proper demo, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to check it out. I could do a stream on the demo, but... Mm, I don't know. I've been debating... Uh, having a day of streaming dedicated to demos. I don't think modern demos come out often enough for that to be a modern thing. <clears throat> Amateurs. Uh, why not one? I'm coming for you. Zero, two, three, four, seven, and Veronica. Why not one? A uh, tactical vest becomes available here. Which I don't usually buy, but you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea if only I hadn't bought the f***ing... ...exclusive for the riot gun. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Hey, did them both recently? What are you buying? What are you buying? Oh, okay, so you've just never done the others. What tactical vest was her? That's fair enough.
magical. Okay, well, our helmets. Only I had a grenade. Yeah, uh, I did have an idea. I did have an idea of, um... I did have an idea of a stream day uh, devoted to demos. That was mostly an idea of uh, demo discs. There's not enough modern demos to really take it that far. Demo discs. Old demo discs. Could be, could be fun. And we all know where this is. Classic demos. I'd love to find a bunch of the old Power Station demo discs. The uh, Power Station was the magazine I remember most from the PlayStation days. Yeah, I, I don't know how much I'd end up doing with the idea. See ya. So that's one death to regenerators, and if we're ho if we're lucky, we won't have any more. Since the regenerators have the very specific way to deal with them, uh, that doesn't rely on damage. Uh, 
Thermoscope. Hey, Mr. Charisma. Uh, they're currently locked up. Currently locked away. Keep them safe. Yeah, I'm always down for somebody to uh, talk about the ballistics. One on the back, god damn it. Uh, honestly, Charisma, I'm expecting these guys to be like... I'm expecting these guys to be the best uh, in this. Because we're doing professional mode and everything else has just been a problem. That reminds me. I don't want to accidentally sell that. Yeah, people were encouraging me to play it on professional. Like Klim did it recently on professional. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was in the mood to play it with Beat Code Vein. We had time left on the stream. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll start RE4. And I was like, hey, do it on professional. Mm. And it's been a journey. It's been a fabled journey. Yeah, since the regenerators aren't too bad... Oh, I am low on rifle ammo. That's not good. Since the regenerators are... Um... Very... Keep them at a distance. And they're not damage-based to kill them. If you aim for the parasites. I expect the regenerators to not be a huge problem. Uh, do you mean the war room? Charisma? Uh, because that went awful. That went terribly. I was going to forgive everything that went wrong if we got that room right and it didn't. We, we didn't get that room right. Okay, can I get this in one go? Because you get three tries before they lock this down. Two. Yeah, the war room on professional, like, there are so many enemies in there. I think the worst room of the run so far, though. Yeah. The worst room of the run so far was the Navisto Cavern, which we did earlier this session. And oh boy, was that honestly infuriating. Really made me angry. Yeah. So many Navista doors. I've never seen that many Navista doors at once. Unbelievable. Yeah, and on professional, the main thing they do to make it harder is they just throw so much more at you. There were so many. Uh, no, we don't have the hand cannon. 
Oh, professional. No, the professional reward is the uh, the pla the anti plagas laser. The hand can you get for doing every mercenary stage uh, five stars with every character, which is incredibly not worth it. <coughs> yeah. My like mercenaries is fun, but I'm not gonna aim to do it five stars. Well, looks like you're on your own, Ashley. He came up quick. Shut up. Yeah, since we're playing in the RPD as well, you can get a good uh, RPD outfit, you can get a good look at the ballistics as well. I'm just going to hold it like this while I have a drink. for you, Charisma. No, I did not, because honestly, fuck time demos. I didn't appreciate it when Capcom did it for any of the other games they've done for. I don't appreciate a company telling me how long I can play a game for. Hmm. <laughs> in the middle of a cutscene. That's even dumber. It's like the video Teak showed me. Uh, Teak put up on his Discord uh, over the weekend of... Um, God, what's, what's the stage in Sonic 2? Uh, Flying Fortress? Flying Batteries um, Sonic 3. Yeah, that was another reason I didn't do the RE2 time demo. Because it came out so close to the actual release. Egg Fortress? I don't know, honestly. Uh, it's before Death Egg. Uh, and Teak put a video up on his Discord uh, from Twitter of somebody doing that stage. And it gets to the end, and it's the bit where the shuttle's flying off to the Death Egg, and Tail shows up. You think it is Flying Fortress? That makes sense. Tail shows up, and it's this long cutscene, but the time is still going. Uh, and Teak showed this video of the time of running out, uh, hitting the max and just killing the player during that cutscene. And the player was on the last life, so you know that was even better. Alright, I believe at some point I said that you can actually knife this Iron Maiden. Yeah, it's really dumb. Is Mad Eye here? Because I really want to flex on her if I do this right. She is not. God damn it. Right, if I do this right, I'll just have to clip it and send it to her so I can flex. Yeah. Uh, it's a big part of the reason because you've got the Super Mario 3D All Stars collection, which was it was only available for a limited time. It was only available until March 31st, and it's gone now. I probably would have eventually bought it. Yeah, not doing that.
Thanks, Zeke. Uh, I eventually would have bought the, um... Yeah, oh, fuck it. This, this has gone... If you want to clip that for a clip that for a, she'll appreciate that. I eventually would have bought uh, the Mario 3D All-Stars collection. But the fact that it was only available for a limited time made me think, fuck it, I'm not buying into this shit. I don't think the key's supposed to float in the air like that. Yeah, I, I would have bought it. Eventually, at some point. I would have caved, I would have bought it. But no, Nintendo put it out for like five months. And so I was like, you know what, no, fuck you Nintendo, I'm not doing that. Because Nintendo. For Mario's 35th anniversary, they put three games onto a collection that was pretty much mostly emulation. Uh, pretty basic emulation as well. And said, hey, you can have this if you buy it in the next five months. I'm honestly surprised you didn't already hear about it. And the time limit came up uh, at the end of last month, 31st of March. And they took it off. You could buy it physically or digitally. March 31st came and they took it off the eShop and they're not making any more physical copies. Even still, I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. Like, it was, it was such a big, dumb idea. I'm surprised you didn't already hear of it. That's fair enough. This is Leon. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. That makes sense. I mean, if you've not been invested since the NES, why would you... Pay attention to anything to do with Mario. It's not like Mario's gonna come to a system you own in that case, is it? No, I, I get exactly what you're talking about because I'll mostly do the same thing with stuff that I don't have any interest in. Welcome. Unless that stuff keeps popping up. Got a selection of good things. Which is how I know that uh, the actress who played the played the main character in the Battlefront 2 campaign, the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign, uh, is going to be in the Borderlands movie. The only reason I know about that is because there were so many headlines about it for some reason. I don't understand why so many news outlets give a shit about the Borderlands movie. I I still need to pick up Ultimate Alliance 3. I really wish Marvel hadn't taken Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 off sale for PS4. Because now I'm sat here with Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2, and other people can't buy them so we can play them co-op. I don't know, maybe it's my, maybe it's my personal uh, bias because I am really not interested in Borderlands. I did have Ultimate Alliance on PS3 and then I got it on PS4, so I got rid of my PS3 version. Because the PS4 version had all of the DLC that was exclusive to the 360. 
literally had like the Hulk, uh, Doctor Doom, um, most of the X-Men were added in, Magneto, um, like it was, it was cool, it was really good. They were both motherfucker. They're both really good. Same with the X-Men Legends games. But like, they were always best with friends. I don't like how that didn't kill the crossbow dudes. Yeah, the Le Legends and uh, Ultimate Alliance were great. Raven did really good work. There, they were all made by Raven Studios. Uh, if you've never played it, like, one idea that is kind of close to it, but not really. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Maybe check that out. Also co-op. Two player though, not four player. I've not looked a huge amount into Ultimate Alliance 3, honestly. I wanted to pick it up, but I wasn't going to run out for it. <clears throat> That's fair enough. Could I offer you a DC alternative? Again, two-player co-op, not four-player. Maybe. Uh, Justice League Heroes. It's not quite Ultimate Alliance. It like it's, it's okay. more Bald Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on, uh, get than, out of here. than Ultimate Alliance. <coughs> There's only a few levels in the game where you get to choose the heroes you play as. You think you tried that? Yeah. I had fun with it back in the day. It's not as good as the Legends games or Ultimate Alliance, but I, I had fun with it. Okay. Wait. Okay. Going back in, Ashley. Yeah, I I considered doing that, but considering this is a place where a lot of people wanted to see done properly, I decided it's kind of a cop out to stream professional on uh, second a special two costumes. Yeah, they can shoot through there. Wait. Open the door, you fucking cowards. Yeah, you know what it's like. People wanted to see professional for the pain. And I figured doing Ashley in armor would make a lot of that less. So it'd be kind of a cop out. Follow me. Definitely agree that having Ashley in armor is fun though. See how badly this room's gonna go. Oh, 
all about the cop out. That's fair enough. Honestly, I'm not here to tell you how to do your business. <coughs> I'm just gonna say, you know what, I wish I had that kind of dignity to be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna do this my way. My stream. I. No, I can't the fuck out. Okay, somebody's gonna fucking get it. upon that years ago. <laughs> Fair enough. Life's more fun if you live it by your own rules. You see, I'm gonna go a different route from what you did, Clem, and I'm just not gonna do separate ways. Why are you not dead yet? Yeah, this is um since this is new game rather than new game plus, can't really do that though. Follow me. I don't think I could do that again. I did that a lot uh, on oh, fucking damn it. I did that numerous times on PS2, and I think it's lost its appeal for me. Yeah, I, I couldn't make this a Chicago typewriter run if I wanted to, because it's new game professional rather than new game plus. Gotta do at least, gotta do professional mode at least once properly. Honestly, I think I wanted to do RE4. I kind of wanted to do RE4 anyway, uh, but I think Klim doing it kind of really pushed me into really wanting to do it. And then we had the time. Looks like this is it. Oh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way. It is a bunch of fun. <laughs> Plus, it's a Resident Evil game I've not streamed yet. I've done two and three a lot. I've not done four yet. Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be it's fair enough. landed on your butt. You Why didn't I notice you playing them last October? The only thing I remember you playing last October was this? Siren. Come on, let's go. I remember I raided you like maybe twice. I don't think it was more than twice. Uh, last year in October, and the only thing you were playing when I was raiding you both times was Siren. Where was where was the Resident Evil there? Can't afford to waste much. Of arguing that get your ass in the dumpster. I have ones that I do and don't like. Regular viewers of course know that I'm not fond of Code Veronica. Uh, I really don't like Zero. I am also really out of practice with Remake, and I haven't done one properly in a long time. Every time I start it up, I'm like, I get the urge, I'm like, yeah, let's let's do one. And I start it up, and it is so clunky, and I just don't want to do it. And then I die on Yawn, and I'm just like, ugh. I've had a fun time with six. You know what the fun thing about that is though, Charisma? If you hadn't gotten softlocked on the plane, you probably would have gotten softlocked somewhere else. 
because Code Veronica is a game about getting soft locked. Uh, what am I missing? Yeah, don't, 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 don't play RE Zero, Clem. A uh, classic one, yeah, classic one is really clunky, and I always lose interest in it. The furthest I get before losing interest is like the guardhouse. Yeah, CVX, if you don't know what to do, you don't know when not to put items in certain places, yada yada yada. Uh, CVX is a game that you will get softlocked in. I remember uh, my first time through, uh, I got softlocked on the final boss because I gave my shit to Claire. And they said, oh, you were only playing as Claire for five minutes. The rest of the game is going to be as Chris again. Oh, cool. Do I get that stuff back now? Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't have a huge issue with tank controls. I feel they work for Resident Evil, Classic Resident Evil, because of the camera system. And when you go with uh, 3D controls with that kind of camera system, you end up with something like Devil May Cry 1 that's a little harder to control. The force backtracking, the item system. As I was saying, they should have... It's like, okay, so we're going to take away item boxes. Okay. So we'll give both characters six slots each, what? That's not a good idea. And also numerous items that take up two slots. Look, there's a gate here. Yeah, the analog was really difficult to use for that. Uh, when I'm playing remaster, because I've not played a huge amount of it because like I said, I'm really out of practice. Uh, but what I do is I set the controls to alternate. So you set the controls to alternate, you have tank controls on the D-pad and the modern controls on the analog stick. And I'll play the game with the D-pad, as I always do with tank controls, and then if I need to cheese an enemy, I'll use the analog stick, because the enemies are not programmed to deal with that. And it's fantastic. Alright. I feel like there's stuff here I need to actually answer. Um, I feel like if they remove both of those limitations, Teak, if they had both characters have eight slots and none of the two slot items, that'd be better. Uh, alternate is the way to go. Yeah, RE2 make and RE3 make. Um, is remakes kind of lacking in areas? Three more than two. As their own games, they're solid games. You see, getting good at RE0 will require me to play more RE0, Teak, and I don't want to play more RE0. That's not the first time I've killed Ashley. It might not even be the last. Oh, remake. Oh, uh, okay. Honestly, if a game's going to give me the tools to do something like that, I'm going to do it. Alright, thanks for joining us, Mr. Charisma. Uh, can we get a shout out for Mr. Charisma? He's a super cool dude who does uh, streams. <coughs> really cool dude. Uh, his chat is always a fun time. 
definitely check him out. Yeah, you do the same for me, Charisma. Because you're a cool dude. Look, there's a gate here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the giving Mr. Prisma the shout out. You take care of yourself, you have yourself a good night. The double shout out. One actual grenade. Why am I so long grenades at this place? Get down. I feel like it's just something you can't avoid a lot of the time, Clem. Happens with me a lot. Increase the number of times you have to hit this in professional. <coughs> yeah, two seconds ain't much. You can, you can live with it. So with the door blocked, where were you taking her, genius? That sounds like more than two seconds of chat lag, Clem. Makes me think of um, when you were with me on the FF7 stream, and there'd be times where I'd deliberately hold back, saying whether I've died or not, uh, just so that you aren't left behind. Okay, we get past this, there's a merchant, so that'll be good. Hey. Oh, I don't have enough for this now. Yeah, they can uh, bust through the doors. Rifle ammo? Now you want to give me shotgun ammo? This is going to be good. You know, it's actually a fair point. Let's let's do the Klim method. Except let's not, because I'm going to screw up the Klim method. So let's do the Mecha method.
bitch. Leave it to me, Leon. Becker approves. Something giving you problems? Shoot it with a bigger gun. Hey, it's Rebel. How are you doing, Rebel? You've missed all the pain. There will probably be more pain. Welcome. Gotta select what are you selling? All of this. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? Nothing apparent. Oh wait, no. Is that all? Did they not give you the tactical vest? <laughs> Thank you. Then you need a bigger gun. Is that all? <laughs> Did they not Thank give you, you the tactical vest on professional? Time. I'm just, I'm just sat here like, you know, I'd like the tactical vest. Get a bigger gun. It's the American way. Oh, the tiny gun. The noisy cricket. Yeah, the tactical vest uh, reduces damage. It changes Leon's model. No, I'm not American, but Leon is, so I'm role-playing an American. Not available on Prom. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be fun. How bad am I doing for ammo? I have 13 handgun bullets. This could be nasty. Leave it to me, Leon. Yeah, because I knew the um I knew the tactical vest appeared where I said it did. I feel like there's a bunch about professional that I'm not a fan of. I should save the rest of these handgun bullets for the truck. Uh, she's got her HDV license, didn't you know? Yeah, I'm finding there's a bunch about professional, I'm not liking little differences. Like, not being able to knock enemies off stuff. Like, in normal, when they're on the edge. When they're on the edge of things and you shoot them, they'll just fall off. Not, not being able to do that, I don't like. It's always been a part of my strategy in RE4.
Alright, yeah, let's do this. Do it quickly so Ashley doesn't die here. RE3 makes it easier to maintain that kind of confidence uh, because of its shorter length. I'm leaving it to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this threshold went fairly well. Uh, in the first session, I died pretty much where I expected to die and nowhere else. And then the second session just went so much better. Does that count? It counts. Awesome. But yeah, like last session, the second session, we just died so many times. It was unbelievable. Well, the good news is uh, we finished this bit and then we don't need to deal with Ashley again until the end of the game. Yeah. And at that point, there's... At that point, there's one corridor to go through uh, with enemies, if we get past this. He got lucky this time. Yes, fine. Okay, yeah, gonna need a flash. Last flash. I'm doing so badly with ammo. Not the fucking truck. God damn it.
The big action sequences later on are going to be so bad. I've been struggling with ammo for like this entire Welcome. session. Thanks, Clem. Got a selection of good. What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you buying? Come back any time. Knew there was a stone here. It is indeed ridiculous, however, we also growing ever so strongly We also get rid of Ashley now, so you know that's really helpful. <laughs> it's crazy just how much harder professional but mode hits you than normal mode. Normal mode, I've got this all down. No problem. Now, come to me, Ugh. Ashley. My thought with this is that Sadler immediately noticed that. Because how could you not? If the anime marathon anime mar May marathon idea does win, we'll we'll end up doing a a Naruto game. 75% fucking hell. God damn. Alright, so from here we can see the end goal here. This is where we get Ashley back. Go through all of the. This is... This is knife fight. This is U3, this is more U3. Okay. No, uh, we can't do that. Responsibilities. I have no ammo for this. Uh, I think there's only one more regenerator in the game, so we can take this off for now. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, let's do this. I mentioned this during Klim's stream, and Klim didn't understand. Uh, but Krauser is voiced by Jim Ward, who also did the voice of Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. Okay, you know, I'm ready to fucking kill somebody now. Uh, 
That's right, Doug Dimmadone, or Dimsdale Dimmadone. Uh, Krauser is voiced by Jim Ward, who also does the voice of Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. Well, I guess we're looking at an, a rifle run now, guys. Why is the game being so s Why is the game being so stingy with handgun though? That's right, Doug Dimmadome or another Dimsdale Dimmadome. Well, seriously, why is the game being so stingy with handgun ammo? It's supposed to be like the most common kind of ammo. Alright, let's do this. Goodies. Do this properly, let's do this right, because I don't want to have to do this again. I don't know why your first thought to, oh, there's something behind me, would be to pull out your knife instead of your gun. They told you, you're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got you gotta love the whole thing as with Krauser. It's all like you and I both know where we could have lost time, comrade. Krauser, <laughs> who? What do you want? <laughs> the sample Sadler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this! Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. So there's very clearly a point Krauser has where he decides, like, he's done with the conversation. You think if Leon dies before that, Krauser's like, oh, now I don't get to do my evil monologue. Just for that? Oh no, you just pull out your gun. All for Umbrella's sake. Umbrella? Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade. <laughs> Alright, what do you see? Well, that's the thing. Leon had a thought, but it wasn't, oh, there's an elite mercenary behind me that also has a penchant for knives. Rosa did die in that tanker two years ago, yeah. You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death. After he, sp after he blew it sky high. You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the it's reason like, why It's like, okay, so Krauser me. knocks Leon down. It's like, Maybe oh no, whatever will you do? Your knife is over there. You won't be able to reach it before Krauser gets you. Oh wait, you should have a gun on your hip. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah. I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? Should have shot a lot of people. Keep you busy. 
Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, uh. <laughs> Mendez shows up, Leon tries to kick him. Fun. Okay. Salazar shows up numerous times, very clearly with the intent to kill him. Eventually, Leon gets the idea to throw his knife at Salazar. I'm really gonna have to use rifle ammo to shoot that in headdress down, aren't I? And one for Jenny and the Wimp. Is it because it feels like it comes from the movie? Am I going to have ammo for you three? Big part of it. Understandable. I mean, Krauser is mostly knife. Because they jack up the damage on the knife for that fight. So I'm not too worried about Krauser. Like, can I get through U3 like this? I don't think I was there when you killed you three with a knife, Clem. Welcome. Hmm. Got some rare. What are you buying? Not enough cash, stranger. What are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. And the next upgrade for the Broken Butterfly will be exclusive, which boosts its power to 50. And I think that's all the upgrades. The rifle is done, the riot gun is done, the red nine is done. Yeah. Everything we've got fully upgraded Come at that point. Back anytime. I do think we could get through U3 because I have 26 Magnum rounds at the minute. But if I fuck up any of that, then that could be a real issue. Seriously, why is the game being so stingy with handgun ammo? Good thing I've got any ammo besides the Magnum, because I wouldn't want to use the Magnum to blow up at the gates in here. Ashley. What is that? Okay. 
Okay. Don't mind me. Cool. Don't need that right now. Shotgun something. Okay. Okay, round two. Oh, I'm sorry, was I not at high enough health? Bullshit. Why is the checkpoint all the way here? Send your grenade. CMP game. <coughs> hey, Star. No, because this is professional and we've died many times and. <sighs> now it gets worse. in the title of the stream star. I saw the save I saw the game time. Um when we did one of the saves in the castle and thought to myself, wow if this was normal mode, I'd be almost done with this game. Okay, something weird happened there. No, no, I didn't need any deaths like that. We have had a serious ammo shortage. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can't tell me about it. Like, if we were doing this on normal, um... All this left, that's the crowds of fight, da 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 da. The rest of the game would be like an hour, hour and a half, maybe. If we're not a professional, I don't know. Which is kind of awkward, because I don't know if I want to go along with this stream to try and finish it. And it could be another three hours. You know what, no, this is the boss weapon, we'll use the boss weapon. Yeah, we beat Code Vein last Tuesday. Uh, beat it fairly early, actually. I think we're like two hours or so into the stream. <coughs> the water hall was a pain in the ass. As always. good it was it was pretty good uh complaints about how to obtain the ending and how once grow up with something the game doesn't give you an idea of how to actually do watch about getting the good ending uh the environment design was a little repetitive uh but overall i, I enjoyed it I'm kind of wondering if I'm professional it'd be worth just buying a rocket launcher for every box. If they're going to soak up damage like this, then the rocket launcher is a guaranteed kill. Honestly, why not just buy the rocket launcher? Yeah. yeah, that was the same with me, Magic. Um, after the cat box apparently didn't have enough of the right thing, and as a result, didn't get to have the good ending. Jeez. I could use the knife, Clem, but I'm not going to use the knife. The rocket launcher isn't enough for this guy. Um. 
A frozen kid, right. I don't know, if I missed something in uh, the cat boss's area, it would be because that f the, f the Sea of Flames was so awful to go through. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to use the knife on Krauser. Yeah, and the stun lock. No, I'm gonna use the knife on Krauser. I know about the damage boost for it. Probably is. Probably a thing like Nemesis. Uh, the developers were probably aware of it. And designed ways for him to get around it. Like if you get Nemesis stuck on uh, a shelf, on a bookshelf in a police station, or a wall in like RE3, uh, he'll run into it, but then ev eventually he'll turn um, and run back to get around it. He's not always successful in actually getting around the thing, uh, but he he usually is. Giving me TMP ammo, give me some fucking handgun ammo. God damn. There's also really the case that I don't need money. I just got 50,000 for U3. I have the golden links, which we're about to complete. I don't need money. The only thing left me to buy is the Magnum exclusive. Like I say, with the golden links and the reward for U3, you should have it. Yeah, uh, Code Vein though. I feel like uh, having done Code Vein, I, I can reasonably not do Dark Souls for a while. Welcome. I won't feel the craving for it. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Yeah, it sounds like people. What are you selling? Is that I don't actually know a whole lot about re 8s story, thankfully. So when I do eventually get around to it, I can go in blind, which is the best way to wear a 150,000, of course it what fucking is. Selling? Oh, I guess we're not getting it yet. After Krauser. We're not going to use the Magnum on Krauser anyway. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Where's your shirt? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll need three insignias to open it. Why? What are you gonna do, Krauser? There's one in the north, 
and the other in the east. And let me guess, you got the last one. It pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. You see, that's why you don't get the TMP browser, because the accuracy is garbage. Alright, let's do this. I could see Ada being into that kind of thing. Alright, Krauser's always hiding behind one of these. Yeah, you gotta watch out for it. It's why it's best to try and get him kind of in a small area. There's not a lot of small areas in this area. There. Uh... stands out compared to the other boss fights. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's more mechanically interesting than all the other boss fights in this game. I mean, I'm not wrong, Titanium. Yeah, just make double sure that we're at full health. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? No. Because that's not what conservative means, you fucking idiot. Come on. Don't just stand there. Come out and fight like a man. I don't care, we're giving extra health to Ashley. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't answer him because he's a moron. And, you know, I've got better things to do with my time.
I don't respect him is, I suppose, like the key part of why I didn't respond. It's like, why did I use the rocket launcher on Salazar? I don't respect him. I respect the Garadors, I respect Verdugo, I don't respect Salazar. going to be round here. That's what you see, this is what I mean, like, smallish area. If he dodged to the right, that would have been a problem. He dodged into the left with us being that close to the wall was like, way less of an issue. Mama, is it to you? Uh. All right, here we go with the proper fight. Proper fight. Proper fight. <laughs> proper. Uh, is, I think, yeah, there is stuff over here. Let's get this now. Don't have to worry about when the timer comes up. Well, let's try and get it done quickly then for you, Clem. What's wrong with your nipples? That's just a try. Where'd that light come from? You've lost it completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. <laughs> Timing on the swings just didn't work out there. That's why they call it a mutation. Had him perfectly, uh, but he attacked in the space between swings, and then that just ru it ruined everything. We almost had the stun lock, basically. Thank you, thank you. Oh, more Mr. Knife guy. I've gone the wrong way. And of course, now the problem is, I really don't want to do this next section. I've never gone the wrong way before. 
Oh, that's the first time that's happened. Uh, I don't want to do this section. Terrible. It's like this, and then it's the final chapter. To be fair, Clem, you missed like the worst part. I mean, this whole this whole section could take us long enough that you finish your dinner. Especially this part. Fuck this part. But you go enjoy your dinner. And uh, if we don't see you before the end of the stream, Clint, thanks for joining us. You take care of yourself. How shall I return my appreciation? What are you talking about? I thought he was with you. They're still doing guest hosts. What are you talking about? Did you really think? Yeah, that's fair enough. Catch you later, Clint. American? Take care of yourself. Truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him, <coughs> but thanks to you. That's no longer necessary. You were just using him right from the start. Oh, I must hand it to you. You've demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. When yeah, not by, you know, decimating countless Ganados, I'll have you or killing Bendez, or killing Salazar, decliner, and his Zarver. Verdugos. No, by killing Krauser, you've demonstrated promise. <laughs> Enjoy your smart mouthing while you can. Alright, let's do this. Verifica la presión de esa válvula. Y tú. Everybody's turning out for Clint. There were not this many guys here outside the cutscene. This is ridiculous for two reasons. First, because the helicopter snuck up on us. Which is always ridiculous. Second, because we're right next to these guys, and the helicopter sneaks up on them now. And this is right next to us. Very sneaky helicopter. Now that's what I call backup. My name is Mike. You're looking for firepower, you come to the right place. I'm going to assume this is a magic helicopter. I'll hide inside this bulletproof tent. It's a quite indestructible helicopter. But not for long. You're gonna fucking do it. Yeah. Okay, the game's not playing fair. Hit out the boulder. Um, the game's cheating again. Dude, would you would you destroy that turret, please? I usually get to this point with so much more ammo than this. Oh, 
Why is it he's taking out the turret yet? There we go, jeez. Oh wow, it only took three swipes, I was expecting to take way more. You don't see that happen a lot outside the GameCube version. Great. You gotta love how the camera's set up so you will run into that guy. I knew there'd be someone behind me. One healing item. Watch the button. Okay, no dickery. That guy, of course, but I expected him. Okay, out of shotgun shells after this, so more trouble. That's because they're cooler. nightmare section and get into the other nightmare section. Or at least there's a checkpoint, so you know there's that. This section never goes well. This is the last part of it? It is, yeah. And then that's the end. Okay. Oh, great. 
Oh, fucking great. This is going to take a while. You know, try not to let shit like that happen. Alright. Go again. Take out the guy on the center Gatling gun. Center turret. Left and right can only aim so far. There we go, Reno. Don't give me the goddamn. again. So I just had a thought of like, why is the checkpoint here rather than through the gate? And the only thing I can think of would be so you can grab some stuff from here. Yay! Wep ammo for a weapon I don't have. Even taking aside my complaints about the TMP, giving me ammo for the TMP is dumb because I don't have the TMP. This is why I don't really tend to do hard mode runs. I just lose so much interest and just start getting really irritated. Why is that money this time? You, uh, you stream it tonight? I appreciate that, Ali. We'll get it. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's see if we can go long enough to raid here. Yeah, I was surprised you were up that long. It's like that would have been really early for you as well. Just unlocking some of the bitches. Why did that only stun him? Yeah, would have been nice if that gave me anything. I don't even know where that came from. <clears throat> yeah, this part was always terrible. Putting it in professional mode with that bullshit, it really doesn't help. Okay, so flash grenade doesn't work on that guy. Anything fits me on the floor.
You really weren't kidding about Mike being useless in the in professional mode. I don't think I've noticed Mike shooting anything. Not in this side at least. Oh, now he's doing it. You know, after everybody's dead. Let's never do that again. That wasn't fun. Awful. Maybe you should just ban, outright ban hard mode playthroughs on this channel, on this stream. Drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. You know, hard mode, uh, RE3 make Inferno no special items playthrough will be Why? when I unlock that, which, you know, could be a very long time. Uh, considering, it's like, the only time I completed it is when I did that stream of it around launch. I just don't have the patience for it, Magic. I'll make sure you're the next to go. Really center. don't have the patience for this kind of thing. You and your brother were crazy for that. No hope. Handgun only running RE6. Ooh, I'm sorry, Leon. Sadler, you bastard. Yeah, I've seen a few people do that. There's like a lot of people were into doing the Inferno runs. Like early on after that game came out. And then they all kind of dried up because did people say? did them and people Insects saw them and saw that it just was not fun. People well, getting the game done in like an hour and a half maybe and then being stuck on that last boss for like five hours. Body. It was not a good time. <laughs> I wish you luck. So we got one last problem area to run through, and if we can do that, we should be home free. Jeez. You know somebody's going to have done that. Yeah, because we're in the RPD outfit, we get Ada in her spy outfit, which is the best outfit she has. I don't like the dress, I think the dress is stupid. Sorry, Ada. We have to get that Ashley's body. Costume with the with this. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Is pretty fan service. Is is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like 
it disappoints me that you can't pick Ada's third costume. Uh, the costume she wears for mercenaries. You can only you, you can only see that or use it if you play in. Um, in play, play Ada and mercenaries. It's not even just about the legs. Like I noticed earlier when Ashley crawled under the uh, the shutter, where the regenerators are. Like that is the pants are really tight. Yeah, you choose it in mercenaries, but you can't choose them in uh, standard playthrough or separate ways. Uh, I don't care enough to mod this. Well, now I can't kill this thing by hitting the parasites. Thanks for giving me all the TMP ammo game, and you know, not any more shotgun ammo or rifle ammo or ammo for anything I actually fucking have. I think at some point the game would realise, oh, you've never fired the TMP, and also the TMP is not in your inventory. I don't even have a green I can combine that with. The last problem area of the game. Question is, do I have enough health to take a hit without just immediately dying? being in green health and having that being not enough. I don't honestly care how much health it is specifically.
I don't care how much health it is specifically. Green health should be you're not one hit away from death. The stupidest thing here is that you have to go to the door and activate it before this happens. That's right, gather round. Well, that was easy. That just came to me. Come on. God damn it. Trouble. One button. Thank you. Thank you, invincibility frames. Okay, fuck whoever's up here shooting me. Two buttons. The iframe. Going soon to an Apple store near you. That's not enough. I'm still one hit away from death. That's fucking wonderful. God damn it. Is there a checkpoint part way through that? No, there is fucking piece of shit. I did that pretty well. I get rid of this garbage. This garbage. Get rid of this. I'm tired of yellow herbs. 
absolutely worthless to me. I don't like getting angry on stream, but I am really fucking angry about this shit. I'm tired of the game always giving me TMP ammo. I don't have a TMP. I have other I, I have other weapons I haven't got ammo for. Why is it giving me ammo for the TMP? Like, a, a lot of this, I'm not convinced, is actually scripted. Like, we've broken boxes multiple times. And there have been different things each time. Like, that box we just broke at the, open, at the start of this area this time. It was shotgun shells. Last time it was rifle ammo. The time before that... I think it was money. Alright, thanks for joining the star. You can take care of yourself, buddy. We'll catch you next time. And thank you for the support and putting up with me. Putting up with me, anger. MOTHERFUCKER! Take care of yourself, Star. It's money again, and money is absolutely worthless. I might as well use this now, since apparently I can't survive a hit. Enjoy the stream? Why? Tell me why you're enjoying the stream, so maybe I can enjoy it as well. I don't think you're watching the right stream, Shadow. I think you've got the chat open. And you're watching a different stream. Do this piece of shit. If we do this, we're done. Home free. Can't use some. Well, I'm not exactly doing off that well at this.
you trying here in my pain? Thanks, Ellie. Thanks for coming back from your sabbatical to feel my pain. Hate the attack ranges on enemies. Oh, fuck off. Two buttons. That's it. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. There's one yeah, more room with, with I think, two or three yeah. guys in it, and then the box. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Is that Wonder Red? That is Wonder Red. I need to do a uh, wonderful 101. You know, we'll finish this today, and then we've got... Leon, now. Thursday, next Tuesday, next Thursday. Uh, before the May Marathon. I could, I could see about doing Wonderful 101. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I actually wanted to do Wonderful 101 before the uh, the remaster came out, but I didn't end up getting around to it. But it turns out the remaster may have lost something in its translation. <clears throat> I've played the first couple of stages of it, of it uh, and I am probably not. Uh, but. If I do it, I will be doing it on Wii U, the original platform. I haven't got the remaster, just got the original. Welcome. Got a selection of what are you selling? Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all? Right, and there are no more regenerators in the game, so we can get rid of the infrared site. And we are left with enough to do this. Come back at a time.
Yeah, uh, the Wii U version, like I said, I don't have the remaster. I did want to do it before the remaster came out, I just never got around to it. The concept was fun though. Uh, the gameplay was weird. Really weird. You know, like I say, I heard the uh, the remaster loses something. Wait. Uh, in its translation to playing without the gamepad, because it was a game designed for the gamepad. Follow me. So maybe that is the game Nintendo was after. Um. When they were after a game to show how the gamepad could be really good for games. You know, rather than the Star Fox Zero, which they forced the gamepad integration into, and it was awful. Maybe Wonderful 101 really was that game. And we just never knew because we had to see it without the gamepad to truly appreciate it. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. Is it? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. And maybe I'm wrong, then. Here goes nothing. Maybe I'm wrong. There. I mentioned this in the first session. Um, how are you feeling? Don't know how many people like remember. Bucks. But the patch on Leon's left arm that says Raccoon right. Police is reversed for some reason. <laughs> if you get a chance to notice it again. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. The final chapter. All right, let's do this. Sadler shouldn't be as much of an issue as all that other shit. Right, give me the shotgun shells. Uh, give me some Welcome. first aid. Got a salute. What are you buying? Is that? <laughs> Thank God. I'm and I'll buy another one. Thank you. What are you buying? Is that a... I, I don't know. Um, maybe Wonderful 101. I could save that for a Superhero Friday stream. We got the Superhero Friday streams. Um, I don't know. That's probably fine. Maybe I'll end up bundling it into the history of stylish action idea that I need to bring back. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Who knows? I do want to get to it though. Oh, 
Oh, what's that? You can't control me anymore? Maybe you shouldn't have had the machine that removes the Plagas in the room next to the girl you were... Room where you... Like, next... In the room next to the room where you were keeping the girl who was integral to your plans. I've been better. Why do you even have the machine that removes the Plagas? What's so funny? Why don't you have any kind of lock on it? The Some kind of password login would have immediately solved all your problems. Only happens in your Hollywood movies. Idiots. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. Ada, stand back. So good. Let's hope I can do this in one try. If I can do this in one try, that means I've done all the bosses. Uh, the actual boss fight parts of the bo of all the bosses uh, in one go. That doesn't work well. You know, that'll, that'll be something to end on if I can uh, successfully do that. Oh, you fucking idiot. Now, yeah, better this thing than spiders, man. Spider's man was just unpleasant. Okay, it was some bullshit. Pull the switch, Krog. Awesome. It's four. How many does it need to be before eight or something? Sure, More than four. Oh, I didn't even throw it a second one, okay. Is five the magic number today? No. Yeah, I wish I hadn't thrown that other grenade in there while he was doing this. Well, I bought the exclusive for the Magnum, I might as well use it. Well, that's not good. your weird leg eyes. I think that missed. Yep. 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 
Okay, when I said Sadler was, a, was not going to be a problem, I was counting on Ada showing up maybe a little bit before this. There we go. Use this. Yeah, I probably should have equipped that. Thank you. Eat it, bitch. And that is all the bosses in the game done in one go each. So that's something. Also, the PS4 version and the PC version, the Ultimate HD version, has the treasure that Sadler drops visible in the cutscene afterwards, which is... Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Mm. What's that, a helicopter that didn't sneak up on us? With that weird banding on the side there. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Hmm. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Bam, you're back. Very cute. I feel like there's a lot of stuff Ada relies on there um, that could have very easily gone wrong. Gotta run, gotta run now, gotta run, gotta run now, and finally, gotta run, gotta run now, it's up, uh, blah, 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 run. Hey, Lino, how you doing, buddy? We have to get off this island now, it's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna blow. What about that, don't you get? Gotta catch that Dr. Wily. I am Mega Man. Here is my Mega Plan. You die! Yeah. Run! I feel like they fixed the um, the effect the Deadman glitch has on the jet ski in the PS4 version, and I don't like that. Now. Like a matter of hell, I'm gone when the morning comes. When the night is over, like a batter of hell, I'll be gone, gone, gone. Like a batter of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. And when the day is done and the sun goes down and the moon that shining through. And we're done. No, we're all business here. All business. Ashley! Ashley! Where are you? And that is Resident Evil 4 and Professional. Let's not do this again, ever. Oh, okay. 
Let's go home. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. I, I just want I just want this to be done, honestly. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. I hope that jet ski has enough fuel to get us back to the mainland. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? Yeah. So, I'm sorry about that, Lena. Why do you ask? Come on, tell Let's me. see if there's anything going on. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Well, Teak's starting up with Dragon Quest, so we can raid Teak after the credits. And here comes Clem with his hate for the RE4 credits. Because he can't appreciate subtle storytelling. <laughs> Thanks for the bitch, Jansen. I did it. I did it. Let's not do another hard mode run of anything for at least a while. Ugh. I, know, I like the credits, I like the story it tells, uh, the downfall of the village and the rise of the Los Illuminados. I don't really feel very accomplished, Teak. I am winner. I am winner, Lino. Then we settled the argument on Dancing Mad. Special thanks, Ray. If anything, this part of the credits is what I think is pretty weak. Hey look, Teak, there's Reno Romano. Honestly, I don't think uh, Resident Evil has ever been really good about exciting you with ending themes. RE2's B scenario was started. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Ali. Now you get the, um... The Roland... Uh, sub badge that you can't see and also the mecha what I actually do I did get enough um, sub points to have two tier one emotes and putting the other one oh no you don't get the um, thing you get the, the the founder nice Uh, putting the mecha thumbs, the mecha thumbs up, into the other slot was not overly simple, so I've not done it yet. You see, that's the, I'm not saying that the credit themes weren't great. I'm saying that, like, RE1, that sure, the credit theme know. for that is kind of uplifting. Like, yeah. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Uh, RE2A glasses. scenario? No. RE2B scenario? Yeah. Uplift like, da 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 da. 
Uh, RE3, not uplifting at all. It's more of a tragic piece. Story of my life. Like the, the melancholy of Raccoon City. Thirty nine deaths. That hit ratio is pretty good, though. Okay. <laughs> I need to sort some new emotes out. I just don't have any idea of what to make them. Honestly, see, there are so many spelling and grammar errors you can pick out in Resident Evil. And you, ch you achieve sheer perfection. <coughs> Teak, are you ready for me to raid you yet? You're going to turn around and tell me that, you have, that I need to wait for like another 10 minutes, are you? Says you live. Oh, god damn it, Teak. Right, I guess then, uh, what we can do is a game of mercenaries. I don't know. Let that load up. I don't like that, um... No, I'm not getting the hand cannon. I don't like that... When you finish RE4, the title screen changes to the panoramic uh, view of the village. I think it doesn't look as good as just the picture of Leon and Ashley. Alright, let's see how out of practice I am with Hunk. And of course, Hunk doesn't get a knife. What Hunk does get is an instant kill. I had that problem in the campaign of pressing the X button too soon uh, after, like, too soon before letting go of uh, the aim, and so I reload instead of run. The neckbreaker works on everything, I think. You can do it on Dr. Salvador, uh, you can do it on the Bella Sisters, it's really cool. Right, so it looks like I'll have an opportunity to do it on, on Bella. Doesn't work on a Garador?
Come on, people. Went on that stim, bro. Okay. Giant Salvador. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything uh, with the uh, giant Salvador except insta kill with Krause's arm. It's always first and worst times. Pretty sure Hunt just has Leon's voice when he gets there. Should have still connected. Bullshit. That's that. All right, what did I miss? Yeah, Mercenaries is fun. Um, the handheld game, Mercenaries 3D was a good idea. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for the GGs. Uh, the handheld game was a good idea. The mission mode of it, I don't think necessarily was. Having to go through all the missions for it. It could have done with being bigger as well. Bigger character roster. I don't know why Leon isn't in that. It's like they made a Claire model for it. And added Claire to it. Uh, Chris is in it. Jill is in it. I'm pretty sure Hunk is in it. Leon isn't in it. Despite RE4 stages being in it. It's really weird. But, you know, I think this has at least showed off that I can actually do uh, RE4 somewhat competently. It is really weird. It's a fun game in short bursts, like it's really intended to be. Uh, 3DS hardware probably holds it back a little bit control-wise. It's a shame it was never put on Vita. It would probably be more comfortable on Vita. Um... Yeah. Anyway, that is definitely going to do it for us for tonight. Uh, so, I want to thank everybody for joining the stream. I always really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for joining me. A uh, big special thank you to everybody in the chat. 
uh, for keeping me come chat is always the best part of the stream uh, Claim, Marai, Teak, Manda, Ali, Mr. Charisma, Titanium, Lino, Star, uh, Rebel. <coughs> I think that's everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for putting up with the anger as I got really angry dealing with this shit. Uh, Chansom, I didn't mention Chansom, I apologise. Chansom is always important. Magic, of course. Magic is super important. Um, I think that is everybody. Uh, if you were in the chat and I didn't mention your name, I apologise, but you were very much appreciated. Thank you so much for joining me and keeping company. We'll be back on Thursday, 8pm British Summertime BST, with something. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, we're not going to be starting Legend of Dragoon now, I guess, uh, because we're going to be doing the main marathon. So I'm not sure what it'll be yet. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go and raid Teak. <coughs> Teak is a super cool dude. Uh, of course, regular in the chat. He's doing his turn-based Tuesdays where he plays through Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, alternating between the games. He's currently doing Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. Uh, so we're going to go and raid Teak. Uh, if you want to stick around for that, great. If you don't, I understand there is no obligation. I just appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Superhero Fridays continues on Friday, 8 p.m. British Summertime BST with the conclusion of Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U. Uh, Saturday, I don't know what we're doing yet. I have to work it out. Uh, Sunday, of course, Chance and I return with Session 3 of Nocturne. So I hope everybody looks forward to that. Uh, but yeah, once again, I want to thank everybody uh, for joining the stream. Uh, big express thank you to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Chat is always the best part of the stream. Uh, back on Thursday with something new. I'm not sure what it'll be, but I hope we'll have fun. Uh, and in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic time of day. And take care. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.